Missy Bauer with B&M Craft Consulting. We're in the shop today to talk about our 10-point planner checklist. Today we're going to talk about number seven, the gauge wheels. I see a lot of common problem areas with gauge wheels. Probably the biggest mistake I see made on planners is that they're just not being set tight enough or maybe I initially had them tight but then they're getting loose throughout the season. So I want to make sure in the shop you're doing it correctly. So when you lift this up into the running position like it would be in the field, pull out, make sure there's no space in between the disc opener and the gauge wheel itself. So you can see this one's pretty good. It looks pretty good there. I try to pull out on it. There's no space. There's no wiggle in this. I can't wiggle this back and forth. But this still isn't quite how I'd like it. So when I go to let go of this, notice what happens here. It just slams down. So this still is not quite tight enough for what I would like to see. So let me show you how I like it when it's set just right. So here I'll take a look on this one. I get it up into that running position. Again, try to pull out it. There's no space there. But notice as I let go here now, you can actually hear the rubber sliding down the metal. And it's not just slamming down anymore. It's coming down at a much slower, softer pace. So that's what I'm after. Then I know I got it. So I don't want it where it stays stuck up, but I really want to hear that rubber slide down the metal and not that slamming down that we had on the other uh, row. One thing I've found that's helped us keep these tighter throughout the season is a rebuild kit from Copperhead Ag or RK Products. Uh, being able to uh, rebuild your arms with this type of a system has really helped keep these tighter a lot longer, so I highly encourage you to check that out as well. We have a lot more information uh, about the gauge wheels. If you take a look at our 10-point planner checklist, we have a, the full video series. We get into a lot more depth about the gauge wheels. I've all, also find that a lot of guys are just letting the rubber itself get too wore out, so we'll discuss that. Uh, in, as part of that series too, and some other things to kind of really look for there. So check out the link below. We've got some special discounts for you today to take a look at in purchasing the planner video series, the 10-point planner checklist.